George, nobody knows politics better than you. Here it is, bottom line. Was there a clear winner tonight? I think Governor Romney definitely more crisp in his presentation tonight. He was leaning into the debate where President Obama was a little bit more laid back. I also think he was able to be aggressive without being offensive. So even though there were, I didn't see any knockout punches. No. I didn't see any breakthrough moments or major mistakes by either candidate. I think Governor Romney will get the boost that challengers usually get coming out of these debates. The big question, did he do anything to dramatically change the, tra the trajectory of the race? Well, just some of what you're telling us from home and you're sending us torrents of emails tonight. Somebody has said, you know, this is a debate you needed a calculator to follow in the first 25 minutes. A lot of numbers thrown out there. And just for the record, the biggest number of tweets so far on Big Bird, but we'll get back to that in a moment because I have to return to Matthew Dowd, a key strategist for both sides of the aisle at different points in his life. Is George right? Clear well, I winner? think this, we, we all would try to make comparisons to these races, to previous presidential race, and this race has all along been so eerily familiar to 2004. And tonight, I think, was another example of that. It is if, it was very much like Bush Kerry. Bush came in with a lead, not huge, but with a lead, but he came in to play for a draw, and John Kerry came in to win. I think the exact same thing happened tonight. John, John, the Mitt Romney came in to win this debate with passion. And it looked as if the president came in, as long as I play for a draw, I keep a lead and go forward. And with that's the case, I think a very close race just got a lot closer. Really? Played for a draw and hey. succeeded? Or? No, uh, the president played for a draw, but the guy that comes in and plays for a win usually comes away with a victory. So the okay. question, Donna, does a tie go to the challenger? No, I think the tie will go to the president because uh, he is the incumbent. But I do believe that Mitt Romney did himself a lot of good tonight. He came to play. He came to pivot. He came to change the script in his campaign. And he was able to do that tonight by talking about the things that he's done in a bipartisan fashion. But I think the president had to lay out what he will do in the future. He was able to do that. But tonight, Mitt Romney was a little bit more aggressive than the president. And Mitt, Austin Goolsby, of course, you were an economic advisor to President Obama. President Obama trying to prosecute the case against Mitt Romney's tax plan, but you saw time and time again Governor Romney going back to the record of the last four years. Yeah, you know, I, I, you often hear people say they want the debates to be very specific and policy-oriented, and they don't want to hear one-liners. And tonight you got the debate that people say they wanted. I wonder if it is the debate that they wanted, because we've got way into the details on a lot of the, uh, lot of the policies. Um, I think the president was a little taken aback that Romney appeared to be shifting, in addition to going back to the record, kind of shifting what, what he has been saying for some months. So on his tax plan, whereas he had been saying for a while, emphasizing the tax cut portion, then tonight he was saying, no, but actually it's not going to be a tax cut at all. And I think that kind of threw it off a little bit because we got into this, no, that's not true. Yes, it is true. No, it's not true. And I don't know that the viewers can figure Let out. Let me turn to Nicole Wallace. Welcome. Good to have you on our team Thank you. Great here. To be here. And we should say that she's been a key advisor both in the Bush campaigns and in the McCain campaign. So what do you think? Well, look, Republicans have been very depressed until about 9.48 tonight. And then my BlackBerry almost exploded. Republicans are thrilled with the performance that Mitt Romney delivered tonight. And, you know, I, I think that we now have a candidate that the party not only thinks can win, but think, think that when they say they will win, they actually believe them. I mean, there have been a lot of Republicans out there loyally trumping the talking points, but they haven't believed that this was the guy who had it in him to win. What they saw tonight was someone who answered the questions with specificity, who refused to yield an inch to Obama's efforts to label him as someone who simply wants to cut taxes on the rich, and who was able to wrap very specific answers in this broader philosophical debate about the role of government in American life. I think Republicans are going to be overjoyed. And I think that the strategic decisions Obama made to attack Mitt Romney for supporting something that looked like Obamacare are a huge loser when you consider who is still up in the air. Republican primary voters wouldn't have liked to have heard that, but, but, but they've already come, come home to Romney. And I, I don't think that Obama did himself any good with the kinds of voters who are still making up their minds.